Amy Matt here, and talking about Fight for the Fallen, and yeah, this was a really good show. I mean, really fun, and you know, just right till the end. And I know there's a few people that may not agree with that, but I really enjoyed the main event, obviously. And I heard a rumor that they may not do any more of those matches for a while, so that's it is what it is, but for the most part, I really enjoyed it. It was really fun, like I said, so let's get on that. We have the Elite, who defeated Hangman Page and the Dark Order, which I was a little bit surprised at. I mean, they went through the Dark Order really quick, but you have the Elite coming out and Space Jam 2 jerseys and stuff and just I guess promoting a movie and yeah this was a good match though I, like I said surprised that the Dark Order was eliminated as quickly as they were it was basically came down to Omega and Paige but yeah somehow Omega pulled off the win so this is yeah, this is not good. I just don't know what's going to happen now. I don't know that page is going to be out of the picture for a while. And we'll see what happens. It sucks. It really just sucks. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. And yeah, I wanted Hangman Page to eventually reach that goal of becoming AEW champion. But it just doesn't seem like that's going to be possible. So... We have FTR who had defeated Santana and Ortiz. This was a good match too. And I mean, uh, Santana and Ortiz are the best take team in AEW. FTR definitely took it to the limit too. Dash Wheeler got injured. And I'm still not quite sure what happened, but his arm got all busted up. It might be broken, I don't know, but somehow they got the win. And we'll see what happens, but when I saw what happened the next day, reading up on it, so they're still looking at it and they're gonna... I'm not sure if he's gonna take time off or not. But, that would be interesting to see what happens with them. Again, good match, and... I can't wait to see them have maybe a possible rematch in the future. They have... The match that we've been talking about, Hikaleo versus Lance Archer, and I expected it to be better, honestly, I really did, but just was a little bit underwhelming in my opinion. I mean, you have King Haku obviously coming out with Hikaleo, which is obvious, you know, I would be cool if. You also had Tamatanga and Tangaloa, but okay. This was good, you know. Lance Archer hit the black belt for the United, the IWGP United States Championship, so it was uh speaking of which, an interview backstage with John Moxley talking about how he's pissed off that he loses the title and somehow can't get back into Japan. But the Olympics can make their way to Japan. Because, yeah, obviously the Tokyo Olympics are this year, this summer, and he can't somehow make it to Japan. And losing the United States title, you know, was bullshit to him. So he's going to basically come out, and he talked about. Hiroshi Tanahashi, who also made an interview earlier in the night talking about challenging the winner for the United States title. So it will be Lance Archer versus Hiroshi Tanahashi, which I'm going to be looking forward to if I remember when it's on. So yeah, there was a warning from Moxley to Tanahashi and just not good words, so that's kind of 
for that one. Christian Cage and Jurassic Express had defeated the Hardy family office. And I'm glad that happened though. I mean, this was cool to see these individuals work together. And then of course you have Angelico and Private Party who basically another good take team. But Christian Cage got the win for his team and like I said, this is something I really wanted to see. So you know, there's an interview with Britt Baker talking about Nile Rose again and yeah, nothing really that special. I mean, still one of my favorite female wrestlers, but I'm not quite sure if they're going to have another match or if there's going to be a stipulation to this match. So we have Thunder Rosa who defeated Julia Hart with Brian Pillman Jr. and Griffin Garrison. The Varsity Blondes is basically a really good take team. A really good, no, I don't know if you want to call it stable, but take team. And so, obviously this match went to Thunder Rosa, the veteran, I guess, if you will. But it was still very good. And Julia tried to get hers in as well. But there it is. Oh, this match. <laughs> so you have the No Worlds match. Nick Cage and Chris Jericho. Painmaker. Chris Jericho and of course Nick Gage being one of the most violent wrestlers out there and you know this was as much as I know a lot of people didn't like it you know it is what it is like I said before you have people who are not gonna like those kind of matches and I really dig those matches obviously and, you know you watch it and you think okay so you have you know, the glass. You've got those little tube thingies that are used in most death matches. And I didn't really see it in Omega and Callahan or any other match, you know. So I was like, all right, let's see how this works. Let's see how this is going to go. And it, it really did work. And it, of course, the pizza cutter came out. So, I mean,. I really enjoyed it. I really, really, really thought it was fun. The glass platform that Nick Gage went through when it shattered. Now, obviously, I didn't say that before, so that was cool. And, yeah, but this Jericho won the match. I can't wait to see what happens next week because MJF came out and he says, Alright, so you've won this match. You think you're going to get to me, but next week. And I know you remember when we had that conversation when you were the champion. And you referred to Hubert Guerrero. And I didn't know who he was at the time. Well, I googled him. And I know that you still have a feud. And you still hate each other's guts. So next week... It'll be Chris Jericho versus Hufa Tu Carrera. Now, obviously, Kyle and I didn't do a prediction video for next week's homecoming as we did for Impact, but it's going to be fun, too, and just to see that match. Also, during this night, you had Malachi Black attack Cody Rhodes while well, Cody made his way to the ring. Now, I mean, it looked like Malachi had makeup that resembled Darby Allen, but that's just me. I just think that it should have been a little bit original, but next week they're going to have their match and we'll see what happens then. But yes, Fight for the Fallen was a very good show and we'll see what happens next week for Homecoming. And yeah, so I'll talk to you later. Bye. So you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming, but you know I think that there's this myth out there that Jamie Kelly is no. that's why he you know, took pleasure in cutting WCW. I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, you look at some of his earlier interviews that 